So I'm gonna do a quick video on adding these snow baskets to the, this is the Black Diamond uh, Trailback model trekking poles. Um, I'm making this video, it seems like an obvious thing how to put a snow basket on trekking poles, but um, when I was putting these on, I was like, oh, this is like really poorly designed. I'm like, cause there's, as you can see, there's threads here. So obviously you would think, oh, the basket just screws onto those, but it actually kind of just slips over those. And it doesn't stay either. And when I was looking, well, I decided after this, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna check out the reviews on this basket. And these baskets have horrible reviews. Uh, and then there's a handful of like really good reviews. I'm like, okay, what's going on? A lot of the horrible reviews um, are just people saying they lost them and these just keep falling off and they don't stay. At first I was just like, these are just kind of bad baskets. Um, but as I looked at it a little bit more and I looked at the pictures for these, I realized that you actually need to remove this. And I don't think a lot of people realize that just based on how bad the reviews are. So that's why I'm making this video. Um, to remove these, it's kind of, that goes on. You want to extend this first part of the pole so you can get a good grip on this. Um, and you kind of have to pull and, uh, and screw at the same time. And you kind of have to use a bit of force. So once you start pulling, it will inch up on top of this thread and then you can just unscrew it. So I think that's what a lot of people are missing is this. You kind of have to use a lot of force to get this to work. And there you go. So the, I think these are like mud baskets or something, but you have to remove these first before you can put it on. And you can kind of tell the difference. This is a basket that's been put on. Um, it does help to use a little bit of heat. So I used a heat gun just to warm this up a little bit. You don't want to melt it, so don't go crazy. Let's get this a little bit warmed up so it softens up and it's a little bit easier to screw on. And it's winter, so that should be enough. So you want to get on there and press quite a bit of force. And see that goes saying it's kind of hard to get it going. It feels like it's not going to go, but it will. I paused it so I can take my jacket off. And because this one's just not going on as easy as the last one. So I'm going to warm up the tip on this a little bit. To actually remove these, you need to boil them. So like they're kind of made to be uh, heated a bit. So. I'm just using the heat gun. Turn it up a little bit. Warm this up a little bit. You want to get it soft but not melted because this will deform when you're trying to put it on if it gets too hot. I think it's going this time. Oh yeah, there it goes. Yep, there it goes. So once it starts going, you could just twist it and it will kind of screw itself on. The hardest part is getting it going. So, and once it's all the way past the threads, it will just be loose and it's finally on. So. Yeah, it might not hurt to put a little bit of heat on this if you're having trouble, but I don't know if this is well designed or poorly designed. It definitely is uh, frustrating, but at least you can get your snow baskets on. Uh, and I'll probably end up leaving these on all winter since this is kind of difficult to remove. But that's it for this, and it, I'm assuming it's the same procedure for putting these back on, given they're uh, attached the same way. Uh, but that's it for today. Just a quick little video. Hopefully, I go. I was trying to Google this to see if anyone else had this type of issue, and I couldn't find anything. So that's why I did this. Yeah. All right, thanks.